The aching, throbbing, burning, and stiffness of arthritis can make exercising seem like a bad idea. But it's not. You've got to get moving if you want to see your arthritis pain subside, but in a way that doesn't make things worse. And that's where things get tricky. Are you wondering how to stay active without riling up your arthritis pain? Hit that like button and stick with me, because I've got some answers for you today. Hello and thank you for joining me today. I'm Rob Van Bergen from Pain Free for Life, and today I'm talking about the critical role that exercise plays in reducing the aches and pains of arthritis. I'm going to let you in on some gentle exercises that will help build muscle, increase cardiovascular health, and lessen arthritis' dreadful pain without the need for pills, invasive surgeries, or unwanted side effects. Sound good? Let's get started. Whether you have osteoarthritis, which is degeneration of cartilage within your joints, or rheumatoid arthritis, a degenerative autoimmune disease, physical movement cannot be underestimated in your healing regimen. Here's the deal. Physical activity actually prevents arthritis from getting worse because it stretches and strengthens the important structures that surround your joints, nourishing and lubricating them. Think of your joints like the mechanical workings of a clock or bicycle. If they sit idle for too long, they're more likely to seize up and less likely to run smoothly. Additionally, frequent exercise can help you maintain healthy body weight. According to the CDC, roughly 23% of overweight and 31% of obese adults in the US report being diagnosed with arthritis. Obesity is a big problem with arthritis because it increases your risk of developing it and it makes the pain stronger and more debilitating. So now you know why you should exercise when you have arthritis, but the next big question is how? And I'm about to let you in on a couple of my favorite exercises for people with arthritis. Number one, water aerobics. Who doesn't want to get fit like a mermaid, right? Water aerobics is great for arthritis pain because it's a form of resistance training that's also low impact, gentle, and fun. Typically, you can sign up for water aerobics classes at a community fitness center, or if you live in an area with access to non-moving water sources, like a small shallow lake, you can do it there too. Next time you have a chance, try one of my favorite water aerobic exercises, splash kicks. Splash kicks work the muscles in your legs and core. So here's how you do it. You hold onto the edge of a kickboard or pool ledge. You alternate between flutter kicking, breaststroke kicking, scissor kicking, and dolphin kicking with your legs. You do each style of kick for one minute. And remember, it's always best to do water exercises with a partner for safety and use a flotation device if you're not a strong swimmer. Number two, cycling. If pounding the pavement during your last run triggered arthritis pain in your feet or ankles, which it often does, try getting your cardio in by cycling. Most of us have an old bike somewhere in our basement or garage it's time to dust off that bad boy and break a sweat. And as it's currently winter in the Northern Hemisphere, snow and ice may pose a challenge to those hoping to cycle. So here's a few life hacks for winter cycling. Number one, fat tire bikes. So fat tire bikes are great if you live in a cold climate because their tires are broader and softer than traditional bicycles. It sort of allows them to rip through the snow without resistance, which is perfect. Number two is desk bikes. Does working from home have you feeling achy? Well, relieve arthritis pain by getting active during your next spreadsheet session. There are specially designed under the desk cycles that you can slip your feet into and you can kind of pedal away while you work. And here's a bonus hack. You can pull the cycle up on top of your desk and get a gentle arm workout as well. Now number three is recumbent exercise bikes. Most community fitness centers colleges and training facilities will have recumbent bikes for the public to use. Alternatively, if you're staying closer to home, they have become much more affordable in recent years. Recumbent bikes are ideal if you have arthritis because you can remain seated while building leg muscles, alleviating pain, and getting your heart rate up. When you first start cycling for arthritis pain, try doing it for just five or 10 minutes at a time. Gradually build up your sessions to 30 minutes, two to three times a week, once you feel ready. 
Staying physically active when you have arthritis is all about incorporating fun, low impact movement into your schedule. Do these two arthritis exercises have your wheels spinning? Well, hop on over to our latest blog. The link is in the description box below. In it, we'll provide one more easy, low impact arthritis exercise and reveal a breakthrough drug-free pain solution that's helped thousands of our patients. If your arthritis is getting the best of you, don't miss this blog. It could contain the answers that you've been looking for. Thank you again for joining me. And if you're looking for a steady stream of health-boosting tips to take back your life from pain, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to make sure that you don't miss a single one. Have a pain-free day.